Howdy YC pilots, today we are practicing mock strafing and dogfighting using reflector sight with head tracking at PV. Top Gun Maverick is releasing soon, and I can't wait to go watch it on the big screen. In the meantime, this is how I play fighter pilot with friends at the RC field. Hope you will join in the fun too. So why use a reflector sight? Because when I use a hand-drawn radical to aim, the aiming point would change when I move my head. And the crosshairs would be too blurry because it's too close to the camera to focus. Whereas with a reflector sight, the reticle stays crystal clear since it is focused at infinity just like the camera. And if the aim is true, the reticle stays on target regardless of where I move my head. We are at the new field for me today at Tropical Flyers RC Club at Tropical Canyon, California. Wonderful facility, as you can see, with shaded pits area and tables to get planes ready, as well as electric outlets at every table for charging batteries. It's even got a furnished clubhouse as well as a RC Pro Shop by RC Visions, stocked with parts and planes for last minute needs in case someone's missing stuff to fly. And check out the beautiful surroundings, mountain ranges and ridges on all sides. It's quite a special field especially for FPV, uh, with a very interesting uh, elevation changes. It might make for some very good proximity flying videos in the future. I look forward to it. Okay, here we go. Ready for takeoff. Okay, taken off. Heading power smoothly. Gentle rotor correction. And we're off. Gear up, flaps up, heading power, and roll. Yeah, where have we seen that before? Top Gun, of course. <laughs> yeah, I like to keep my head moving at this field. It's very pretty. Oh, chance shot at this truck making it up the hill here. We'll come back to it in a little bit. So here. Uh, I like to make a turn around the tree. This uh, tracing a circular uh, path, going back to the truck. I'm a little rushed here. Really didn't have that much separation from it. Ooh, that was a pretty poor shot. We'll try again later. So just coming back around. Trying to see uh, what's on the other side of the hill. It's very interesting landscape here. Pretty sharp drop off on the other side of the hill. Don't want to go too low. I want to stay above line of sight. I don't want the edge of the hill to blanket the uh, signal coming from the pilot station. Okay, I see my next target, the yellow dumpster. Guns, guns, guns. So I heard uh, another jet being in the air for a minute or so. Bob in the next pilot station is flying a free wing Sabre jet F-86. So I'm actively looking for it now. I asked Bob to see if I could fly formation with him and he said yes. So I'm searching. Oh, I see a speck. Yeah, it's very hard to see a plane when they're below the ridge line. And once they make it above the horizon, it's much easier. So I've spotted it and now I'm trying to close the gap. So it's my first time flying with Bob. So just hanging back to see what kind of flyer he is. Is he making abrupt turns or gentle turns? Well, looks like he's pretty smooth stick. So I'm trying to close the gap here. Okay, uh, it's always safe to uh, stay on the outside initially. Uh, I just made a sharp turn so I need to cover a lot more ground. I'm trying to make up with more power, but overtook here. So I have to veer on the outside to cover more distance and then come back in. So that's how we make up uh, speed differences uh, when doing formation. And here is uh, making a left turn. So I'm on the inside now, I have to be a lot slower to match. So I drop half laps just to make sure I don't stall. 
then the seat turns to the right again I have to cover a lot more distance so retracting flaps again and powering on uh, he also calls out power on trying to uh, put in some distance between us so I told him hey I'll try to put you in my sights and I got close a few times here getting uh, really close here but he uh, rode away <laughs> nice move Bob but he's uh, by and large uh, flying very smoothly and very realistic turns so but it's hard to put the target inside for a couple of seconds and he's getting low on juice so already calling up landing so I um, have to break away to give him space uh, it's our first time flying formation together don't really want to uh, confuse him on the final approach uh, when he's flying this line of sight so, but I'm keeping an eye on him trying to keep the distance in the air but once he lands I'll try to buzz him so let's see yep he has safely landed so now I can close the distance it's always a lot of fun to buzz aircraft on the ground uh, especially if the other guys flying at PV you could sort of scare them a little <laughs> but that's always fun so yeah uh, it's, I'm ready to land as well so on my downwind I could take another crack at a ground target there's that gazebo on top of the hill Okay, I'm ready to land. Uh, making a conscientious effort to stay away from the structures below. They are occupied either by horses or uh, residents. Okay, landing. As we land up on final approach, let's make a mental note of the shape formed by the runway edge. It should be a trapezoid. And as we approach closer, we only want it to grow in size and maintain the same shape. If it grows taller, that means we are too high. If it grows shorter, that means we are too low. So long as it stays the same shape, that means we are staying on the correct glide slope all the way to touchdown. And as the width grows exponentially, that's when we flare. Just like so. Yay, it's a greaser. Uh, we hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, fun flight with the reflector sight. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to buy one, uh, as we are gauging interest to see if we need to go ahead with uh, production. And if you like the flight today, please give me a like and subscribe. I hope to see you again next time.